Yeah, hi guys, Peter back for yet another video. This is the next instalment in um, the Queen album um, reviews. Their 10th studio album from 1982, Hot Space. A much maligned album, a lot of... Um, um, considered by a lot of people their worst album. Well, we'll talk a bit about that as well. There you have it. This is the two disc, um, took the 11 tracks of the original album plus five uh, tracks, um, bonus EP of five tracks. But I'll give you an idea what's on the bonus EP. Stay in Power Live, uh, Soul Brother, that's a B side, Back Chat. Uh, the single remix, Action This Day Live in Tokyo and Calling All Girls Live in Tokyo. That's what's on the bonus thing anyhow. And there's the track. That's on the 11 tracks. Interesting album cover. The four members there. There you have it. Don't mind that cover. It's not too bad. Um, here we go. Here's some background information on the album. Hot Space by Queen, 10th studio album, released May 4, 1982, recorded in two studios, Mountain in Montreux, Switzerland, and Musicland Munich, back then West Germany. 43 minutes, 29 seconds through EMI Electra. Okay, um, let's see. What do we got here? We'll go through some of the singles. Calling All Girls made only the US number 60. Uh, the album, uh, the singles, Los Parablas de Amor, if I'm saying it correctly. UK number 17. Uh, Back Chat UK number 40. And so on, Body Language UK 25. Australia 28, US 11. So it did okay in the US. Um... Under Pressure, Australia, big hit, number six. US only 29, UK number one, considering how good a song it is. Um, let's see, album, Australia. The album reached number 15, UK four, US 22. US and the UK it went gold, which their golds are different. I think uh, England is uh, 100,000 and US 500,000. There's some of the background. So I'll go through the 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 album. Um, very much uh, a change in direction. Although you could say the start of this probably, if you wanna you wanna go back to where this album originated from, they had a big um, hit with another one by the Dust, and I think you know they went they took that to its extreme. That's how I feel, anyhow and went with this one, which wasn't greatly received, this album at all. Um, funk, dance, uh, apparently um, what I have heard, John Deacon and Freddie were very much for going in this direction, but Brian May and Roger Taylor weren't. Um, they wanted a more rock direction. That is what I've heard. So there you have it. That is that. So I'll go through it. Staying Power. Uh, the vocals are good from Freddie on this. Uh, it's a good, it's a good song. I wouldn't say it's an outstanding song. It's okay. I I have no nothing against the song. I think it's it's a bit of a funky, dancey sort of tune. Um, it's a that was a Freddie song sung by Freddie, of course. Dancer is quite catchy. It's it's more of the same, but. It's got a bit more oomph to it, I think, and I think I think it's got a good, um, you know, um, verse and chorus and so on. But yeah, but as a Brian May song, and I think that's one of the better songs on the album for me, Dancer. Then we have, um, I'll go to the CD, it makes it easier for me. Back Chat is the John Deacon song. Um, look, not too bad, but not great either. It doesn't really get there for me um but john has got a very good knack of coming up with some great songs but this one's okay for me that's the john deacon song and and pretty much a lot of the same vibe is through this album you got that dance funk what do you call it club music i don't know whatever you want to call it um 
I won't say that horrible word techno, that's nothing to do with it. That's some um, dance, funky music. Um, body language, big on the bass. That is a, um, a Freddie song. This did all right. I don't mind this. A lot of people uh, crap on it. I think it's got some good, it's one of the, the better ones on here, I would say. I don't mind it. It's got a good groove to it, a good good funky um beat to it. It's pretty it's pretty decent. Uh the next to Roger Taylor song action is this day. Not big on this one at all. That's one of the weaker ones for me. Uh Put Out the Fire is the next one. That is um the Brian May song. Uh, vocals by it. it's got here Mercury with May. So it's a Brian May song that uh, it's a uh, basically a rock tune and it's very catchy. I quite like this one. This is probably one of the high points of the album for me. Put out the fire. I, I, I think um, I could see myself a track that you go back to. You know, I mean, I have played this album um, just before this video, also. Uh, Spotify, and I have played it um, before. Just played the CD a couple of times recently, so I, I, I've been back in touch with this album, and that sticks out, sticks out like like a sore thumb, I would say. Uh, yeah, one of the really the high points of the album for me. Now, next one is uh, "Life Is Real" of Freddie song, uh, sung by Freddie, like a tribute to John Lennon, song for Lennon. It's it's back in that ballady Freddie style, and it never gets past decent for decent for me. It's, it's not too bad. And uh, uh, calling all girls a Roger Taylor song. Uh, they did a clip for this, I believe. Um, goodish, I would say goodish. It's it's, it's it's not real great, but goodish, I would say. Las Palabras de Amor, the words of love. One of the better songs on here. Lot nice ballad. Very good song. That is a Brian May song, but it's got here uh, vocals, Mercury with May. So there you go. One of the better songs on here. Quite nice ballady song. Typical Queen. Uh, cool Cat's got the uh, the next song, which is, uh, fun enough for Queen, a joint, uh, joint writing of Freddie and John Deacon, sung by Freddie. Um, it's an okay track. Uh, uh, you know, it's... Neither here nor there, take it or leave it, sort of thing. And um, Under Pressure, the collaboration with Bowie, uh, a classic song. By Miles, the best song on the album, By Miles, a long, by quite a long distance. This is the only real standout classic on this album. Um, but there's... In, in the album, it's interspersed with good songs. You know, you, you take a, uh, like the Staying Powers, the Dancers, and Put Out the Fire, especially, I like. Um, and there's a couple of dodgy tracks action this day for me. Um, cool Cat, uh, yeah. You know, you get what I'm saying. It sort of doesn't hold together well as an album, but it. I wouldn't say it's as bad as people... Uh, people um, the rap that people give it. I don't think it's bad as that, but it has a couple of good moments and, um, yeah, and so on and so forth. I'll give you my three favourite songs off this album. Well, you have to go with that, the the br b b brilliant vocals of um, Freddie and David Bowie on Under Pressure. Just a great, great song. Written by the whole band with Bowie, I believe. Yes, I think so. Let's see the pressure. Yes. yes. And um, no wonder it was such a huge song. I can see why it's so good. Just so good. The vocals, you know, draws you in. It's, it's one of those ones, you know, it's accessible. You know, you don't have to work too hard for it. You don't have to say, oh, it's growing on me. It's sort of one of those instant songs, you know, those sort of things. So um, that is number one, no doubt. Now, number two, Put Out the Fire, the Brian May song. Really good uh, rock song. Uh, and is that Brian May song? Yeah, and the other Brian May song I will have to go with is Dancer. Dancer, I'd probably go number three. And there you have it. They're my three favourites. As for a rating out of ten, well, I'm not going to give it under five. 
I think a fair rating for this is with that that great song Under Pressure and we've um, pulled out the fire and a couple other good songs mixed with a couple of not so good songs. I think a six out of 10 for me, Hot Space by Queen, six out of 10 guys. So, you know, just pretty, av pretty average. A lot of people give this much lower than six. And it's not, pe I have, 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 I've seen a few people give it more than six, you know, up a real high, but uh, I give it about a six. You know, it's um, it's an album, yeah, you sort of, um, you get all you don't, I think. Um, it's not a, it's, it was never a great album for me, but I think it's got some some little good uh, nuggets within the album, if you get what I'm saying. So there you have it, six out of 10 for Hot Space by Queen for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Next will be The Works from... 1984 I'll be doing next hope you enjoyed it comment subscribe all those things bye for now guys see you soon for the next one and it won't be too far away i'm gonna be doing my live streams again so i hope you look forward to that i'll i'll um let if i'll um try and put a message up or a link that i'll be doing live streams won't be too far away that and more videos see you guys see you soon bye for now bye